Welcome back to the baking bro. Today we're gonna be making Anzac biscuits. So let's hop straight in. Ooh. So first we're gonna get some flour, put it in. Next we're gonna get some coconut. Next we're gonna get some brown sugar. Next, we're gonna get some rolled oats. So now, we're gonna mix this up. So first, we're gonna put some butter into the saucepan. For this, we're gonna make this butter mixture. And so first we need to put butter in. Next we need to put some golden syrup in. By the way, it is a double mixture. So the real recipe will be down in the comment thing down there. So, so now I'm gonna just mix this up with a spoon. So now I'm gonna put some bicarb soda or baking soda in. And what this will do, it will make it bubble and froth. So, as you can see, it's now Whoa, it's like going crazy. It's like having a whole party in here. And so I'm gonna mix this up just for maybe like 30 seconds and then put it into the dry ingredients. Okay, so now I've got this butter mixture and I'm now we're gonna put it into the dry ingredients. that in there. Smells actually so tasty. If you were here, you would have said the exact same thing. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna mix this up with a stand mixer. So something that I usually like to put in my Anzac slice and a lot of my recipes is just some vanilla extract or just a little bit of vanilla extract can just make it taste so much better and tastier. It's just, I always thought that. I always think it makes it better. So guys, it's looking pretty good. It looks a bit greasy, but it's, I think, all right. Like the color, the flour looks like it's mixed in. I think just the butter needs to be a bit more mixed. So like, as you can see that it's not, still not mixed all there. But I'm just gonna use a spoon and mix that up a little bit. But the rest of the dough looks amazing. So now I've got some the cookie dough on the tray and I'm gonna put this in the oven at 150 degrees fan forced 
for about 20 minutes. Depending on your oven, it could have hot spots, so like mine has a hot spot, so I have to turn it around at like 10 minutes. But 20 minutes is the best. Most things, fan force 150. Guys, look how they turned out. They look amazing. They have a crispy edge with a chewy inside. They're so tasty. I really recommend making this recipe. Details are down below. That's it from the baking bro. Drop a like, subscribe, do those things. I'll see you in the next one.